everyone, it's Myony, and have you ever been in the situation where one of your friends says, hey, I'm coming over in 30 minutes, and your room looks kind of like this? I feel like we've all been in this situation, whether you're really tidy all the time and you've just had a bad day, or whether you're just pretty messy in general, we've been there. So in today's video I wanted to give you guys a quick schedule with some tips and life hacks how to tidy your room in 30 minutes. But please bear in mind that these are not permanent organisational methods. Some of these tips kind of involve hiding the mess but hiding it well. I'm a very organised person and sometimes it really pains me to do these things, but on occasion it has to be done. So these tips are really for when you're in a rush and you want to tidy up quickly. So I hope they're really helpful for you guys. So just so you know, I did this video, I did the clips for it in about 45 minutes and I did the tidying in about 25 minutes. The other 20 minutes was like setting up the camera focusing, recording, all of that kind of stuff. So I think you can do this in under 30 minutes. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And if you are new here and you haven't seen any of my videos before, hello, please click that subscribe button and you can watch all of my future videos if you would like. So without further ado, because you're probably in a rush too, let's get these tips and life hacks out the way. So let's start with some preparations. Now most tidying videos will not rely on being quick, so they'll say put on a playlist, put some music on, don't do this. When you have very little time you have to prioritise and not get distracted, so turn everything off and turn your phone on silent. The best place to start is your desk and other surfaces by clearing away the gross food and the old plates and cups and all of your crisp packets and things like that because that's what's going to really smell and make your room gross. I was sick the night before so I got rid of all of this medication and put it back in the bathroom because it doesn't belong in my bedroom. These are really quick fixes. Now for all my products and my craft supplies, I decided to use this life hack by using these folder holders, I don't know what they're called but you know these paper holders and I put two of them that way round so you can't see anything and then I just put all of my products in there, craft supplies in one and beauty products in the other and it actually conceals them really well. I put the high ones up at the back and the low things at the front and you can't see anything and it was so quick and easy and later on I will go and put them in their rightful places. And now on to the hard part which is the clothes. You're not going to have enough time to fold everything and put it back in its place when it looks like this. So what I do is sniff for the dirty stuff and put those in my laundry pile and then make another pile of clean things. All of the clean things I fold as much as I can, kind of roughly fold because I like to fold them properly before I put them away and put them in a giant carrier bag or box that I can take away and put somewhere else. I try and put this in a different corner of the house where no one can see it but this is a good method for getting rid of your clothes quickly and then later on you can put them away properly. And you gotta fill up that laundry basket with those dirty clothes too. So now on to the junk. This is all the miscellaneous crap you have lying around your room. So first things first, close all of your drawers because this makes a room look really messy. Then I'm going around collecting any pieces of junk. Small things I put to one side but the bigger things I'm putting on my bed. This is my bed method as you will see in a minute and let me know if you guys do this too but I put everything in one pile on my bed which forces me to tidy it up because I need to get back in my bed later anyway. So I then assess it and I look at the big things first like coats, bags and I take all of my pillows off of the bed, put them on the floor and then I take things like folders, anything that's big and anything that I can put in its place really quickly is first on the list. So any kind of other clothes that I haven't added to the pile goes and I just keep doing this until the whole bed looks pretty clear. Once you kind of get to the end there's going to be a lot less stuff so there's going to be a lot more miscellaneous things and things that you can't put away quickly. As you can see here my pile of these things is growing and I have nowhere to put them and I'm in a rush. So this is where my biggest darkest secret comes in. I am going to put them in my crap drawer and I don't like to admit this but I have one drawer that's dedicated to just junk that looks like this. It is embarrassing. 
So this is what it looked like and I try and clear it out every couple of weeks. So anything that goes in here doesn't stay in here for long but it's for when I'm tidying up in a rush and it does really help me keep my room clean. I just tuck it away like that and then for the small items I do a very similar thing and put them in a box because I don't want to lose them and I don't want them to fall to the bottom of the drawer. And finally, let's get on to making the bed because this is the most important part. Once you've made your bed, it's going to make your whole room look really tidy in a matter of seconds and it doesn't take too long. And I'm also putting my pajamas under my pillow because I just like doing that. And then finally, these are the last bits that will make your room really fresh and clean. Obviously, if you have the time, a quick vacuum over your carpets will be nice and it will keep your carpets nice and clean for any visitors you have coming over. Then taking out the trash is really important because otherwise it's going to smell really bad. And then you can light a candle or put some Febreze in the room to make it smell nice for when people come over, but I prefer a candle. And that is it. Now my room looks nice and tidy and clean. This is what it looks like. It's not the best it's ever been, it's not perfect and I still have to deal with that junk drawer but I'm really happy with it for the time being and I managed to do that in a really short space of time. That is everything! I hope you guys liked this video and like these kind of sneaky little life hacks. So if you do any of these things don't forget to leave a comment down below and tell me if you do any of them. How messy your room is right now? Are you going to use some of these in the future? let me know and i hope you guys have a great day don't forget to subscribe and give this a thumbs up and i will see you guys next time bye